Hi, I'm Wayne. And I'm Norma from Our Vacationer. Follow us as we travel in our motorhome in Jeep Cherokee. Subscribe and click the notification bell. We're sitting here in our driveway in the barn using our camper to just sit in to pretend like we're camping. Two things, and I know everybody's heard more about this than they care to, so I'm not going to elaborate, but there's a virus going around that we're not allowed to leave our homes unless it's an emergency. So we're pretending like we're camping, and the second reason we're doing this is we have a lot of friends, and a lot of those friends don't even know who we are, but we watch your videos, and we see that, I think it was 57% of the campgrounds are still open, 43% are actually closed. So those of you that are full-timers, be aware that we're not camping, even to the campgrounds that would let us camp in this area because we think you deserve the spots more than we do. You guys live in your motor homes. We don't, we still have our sticks and bricks. Maybe someday we'll actually live in ours, but currently we travel uh, three, four months out of the year in ours. We take long vacations to Canada, California, Washington State. Uh, if you can't tell from our accent, accent we're uh, from the South. So traveling to Canada or Washington State is a long ways for us to go. We've been to Yellowstone several times, Grand Canyon several times. We love long RV trips, but then we also love to have our sticks and bricks to come back to as well. So just know that we're thinking about all of you that are sheltering in place and doing the best you can to find a place to stay. We're not camping for that reason until this restriction is lifted, hopefully very soon. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about the places we've been. Uh, if we can't go to those places, we can at least reminisce and share some photos and videos of places that we've been. So why don't you tell them all the different places we've been and the places you like to go and the places we want to go back to again. I think my, I have two favorites, Yellowstone being one. The terrain is so different. You've got valleys and hills and woods and flatlands. And I know some people get tired of the uh, bison, but I love to see the bison. They're just such huge animals. Um, There's too many. Just there to see whenever you want to. The first one we saw, we kind of sneaked up on it and uh, we were going to stop at the little pull off. And we started getting out of the car and this, I mean, it was just right there. So you have to be very careful about getting in and out for the animals. But we were able to see moose and elk and all kind of deer and grizzly bears, grizzly black bears, bears, black bears. Um, we didn't see any wolves. We saw all kind of mountain goats or sheep and longhorn sheep. Uh, huge it, birds. and A second close but smaller. Uh, place was State Coast, uh, Custer, State, Custer Park State Park in South Dakota in Loved the Black Hills it. area. Yes. Uh, that was scenery, our first taste of the animals. Yeah, the natural uh, life, wildlife mm -hmm. there. There's so much in that Custer State Park and then going into Yellowstone to see it's the, there's just, it takes more time than we had to see it all. We went to see uh, Mount Rushmore, uh, we did the Custer State Park drive. We went to see the Badlands. Um, there's just so much in that area to see and enjoy. And then to move on into Yellowstone and see all that. It's it's a daily animal sighting. You don't go a day without seeing some kind of huge animal. And it was just really nice. I guess my second favorite place was Alaska. We didn't drive to Alaska in the motorhome. But we uh, took a uh, cruise ship to the inner banks and we were able to see bears there, seals, sea lions, uh, eagles, uh, just the natural beauty and the waterfalls were just magnificent. And uh, we stopped at several points and got to get off and do some things there. Really enjoyed that. I guess my next favorite would be uh, the California Redwoods. Just the magnitude of how huge they are. Um, they, they've cut holes in them where you can drive, actually drive a car through it. It's just crazy that it didn't kill the tree. Um, the Grand Canyon, different times of the day you can go and according to how the sun's shining, 
The colors are just absolutely beautiful. Let's see, Niagara Falls, we saw it from the United States side and the uh, Canada side, and I think it's easier to see from the Canada side. And uh, it was just magnificent at the amount of water going over the falls. Um, what are some of your favorites? I, I like Lunenburg and Lunenburg. Uh, oh yeah, and and uh, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a beautiful little town. I wish we would have planned to stay longer. Uh, we're we're kind of planners, so we plan everything where we're going to be each each day and sometimes you get somewhere and you think wow there's just more here than we can see mm -hmm. but we got to move on because we got reservations and we got to go here and we got to go there I, I think one lesson learned from our travels is we should always plan one day more than what we think it's going to take to see this see this mm -hmm. and then you need that third day or, or however many days that one extra day to plan for those things that you, you know, maybe the weather was bad one day and you you had to skip out on something you were gonna do, or maybe you get somewhere and it's just a lot more than you expected, so you'd like to spend another day there. Yeah. Or in some cases, rather than drive and camp and drive and camp and drive and camp, you need just a day to relax, just to, just yeah. to catch your breath and maybe uh, think about the plans for the next day get prepared and, and do a little resting so the one place we regretted not spending more time was bar harbor. bar harbor the things that we wanted to do it was rainy and foggy and we really were not able to see what we wanted to see and do what we wanted to do so yeah it was uh, still beautiful yes, i mean even beautiful. though we couldn't see longer than a car length in ahead of us the fog was just horrible mm -hmm. but we did take a bus tour and the bus driver knew where the roads were without being able to see them apparently <laughs> and, he, he would pull it out the window and say, now, if you could see, there's a waterfall right there, and if you could see, there's a, a flat rock that a lot of weddings take place right on the ocean mm -hmm. coast. And if you could see, that's Cadillac Mountain. And so anyway, the bus driver was, was humorous and uh, very knowledgeable with his facts and figures, but Bar Harbor was one of those areas that Definitely. we wish we would have stayed a little bit longer. Uh, I guess... I, I'm kind of a 50-50 mountain and beach person. I like the beach and the seafood, but I like the mountains and the waffles and pancakes and the barbecue you get like at Pigeon Forge. And uh, you can't drive a whole block without seeing a pancake house in Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. And uh, so I like the mountains, the natural beauty, the, the wildlife, the uh, bear, birds, deer. Uh, eat, here locally at the Gunnersville State Park, Gunnersville, Lake Gunnersville State Park, you, you can see deer just wandering out through the campground. They're not at all mm -hmm. concerned about yeah. people being there. Uh, they're not pets. You can't walk up to them and pet them. They won't let you touch them, but they're also not intimidated by people either. So I like the local area to do local camping. And uh, Helen, Georgia was one of my favorite places to go. Savannah, Georgia, uh, Gulf Shores. They, they all have their uniqueness. They, they're all kind of touristy areas but they also have their natural beauty too, the mountains and the lakes and the, the shores, uh, Tybee Island off of uh, Savannah area. So we're, we're gonna be showing some pictures and some footage of the places we've been. We, we've been some style of RVing since 1992. Uh, our first trip was a Silverado pickup truck and a Coleman pop-up camper that had little but like 14, maybe even 13 inch wheels. And we had two blowouts, but we pulled that thing all the way from North Alabama to Los Angeles, and then from Los Angeles back to uh, Las Vegas, uh, Grand Canyon. Vail, uh, Colorado. Vail, Colorado. We saw the Painted Desert, Petrod Forest. Uh, so we've been doing this even before, you know, we had the motorhome. We had two trailers. And uh, we've always enjoyed longer trips. I, I think a two week vacation, which most companies give you two weeks per year or maybe three weeks if you've been there a long time, but it's just not enough. You, you need a little more time. So we're saying for those that don't live in your motor home, maybe consider staying at home till the parks start opening back up sooner rather than later. And leave the campgrounds that are open to the full-timer so they've got a place to live 
and then as soon as this thing opens up I expect a floodgate of people to go camping camping we, we all have that itch to get in the camper and go and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it so hopefully this is a reminiscent video that you can enjoy and see some of the places we've been if you would leave a comment below uh, let us know where your favorite place to go is because we have a we had plans to go to Colorado Utah and see all the uh, national mm -hmm. parks and, and uh, monuments out there and that kind of got blown out of the water with this virus that's going around and but I would like to know where you guys are planning to go and what your favorite place to go to is and maybe we can change our plans and adjust to go not so far away but still a nice place uh, recently in March we had uh, plans and reservations made to go to Kentucky uh, you can see that in one of our other videos uh, we were going to the ark encounter and to the creation museum. the creation museum and just as we were about to pull out of the driveway we got a call and said they were closed and that saved us a huge trip but it also caused us to have to make an emergency adjustment to our plans and come up with a plan b all of a sudden so we went to Mobile, we had a wonderful time. Uh, we didn't go to the beach per se. We were on the coast, but it wasn't really a beach. It was a military uh, shipyard and a fort and a sea lab museum that we went to. So we had a good time, uh, but that wasn't our plans. But fortunately, we didn't drive to Kentucky and then find out everything was closed. So Definitely. hang in there with us. It's gonna get better and we're, we can see you out on the road but subscribe like our videos and leave us a comment to let us know what you think and where your favorite place to go is we'd love to hear your feedback and uh, make our plans to go to some of your favorite places see you soon